During our May hearing, the Commission heard compelling testimony from Hong Kong pro-democracy advocates, including Martin. I'm not aware of anything comparable to this level of discontent against a government in modern history. I was released exactly three months ago, on June 17, and have since joined fellow Hong Kongers to protest in the most creative ways possible. As a singer and activist from Hong Kong, I have experienced the suppression firsthand. Ever since the Umbrella Movement in 2014, I have been blacklisted by the communist government. My songs and my name are censored on Chinese internet. Pressured by the Chinese government, sponsors have pulled out, even international brands have kept their distances. For the past five years, and even more so recently, China tried to smear and silence me with their propaganda machines spreading false claims. Right now, I am facing threats from pro-Beijing supporters and could face arrest and prosecution at any time. Panel of expert witnesses this morning. Uh, three of our witnesses traveled. All the way to date, more than 1,500 Hong Kongers, the youngest at the age of 12 years old, have been unreasonably arrested. Sadly, it has become a daily occurrence to see youngsters being pinned to the ground with head concussions, if not being knocked unconscious. On the other hand, riot police and plainclothes officers have since early on deliberately hidden their ID numbers and warrant cards, making it impossible for us to even certify their legitimacy, let alone hold them accountable. Uh, Demo Sisto, um, at, age, uh, at the age of 15, he organized protests against... Uh... Nowadays, students and Hong Kong people are even ready to die for Hong Kong, and some already did. They believe that the only limit to their freedom is their death. This is the ultimate sacrifice for the motherland, and we must not forget them. Uh, uh, Hong Kong, uh, subsequently he rose to prominence as a core leader of the 2014 Umbrella Movement. The movement is far from over because it has long moved beyond one bill or one person. Our most important demand is genuine structural change in Hong Kong, which means free election. Our government's lack of representation lies at the heart of the matter gave a speech in the UK House of Commons in support of Hong Kong. Sharon Holm. As I speak, Hong Kong is standing at a critical juncture. The stakes have never been higher. We are confronted by the huge Chinese military build-up just across the border in Shenzhen. President Xi Jinping is unlikely to take hardline action before the upcoming National Day in October. But no one can be sure What's next? Sort of the, the key issue before us is autonomy. If you go back... Uh... The U.S. and its allies have everything to fear if they wish to maintain a world that is free, open, and civil. I therefore urge the U.S. Congress to stand by Hong Kong, and most of all, to pass the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act. It's an honor to be invited back to Capitol Hill to speak about developments in Hong Kong. Decades from now, when historians look back, I'm sure that 2019 will turn out to have been a watershed. I hope historians will celebrate the United States Congress for having stood on the side of Hong Kongers, the side of human rights and democracy. You're here today to the United States Congress, the House and the Senate to share 